Hello, welcome to Creta Classes. I am Gurmeet Singh and also welcome to our new series on Class 10th Chapter 9, Some Applications of the Trigonometry. And in this series, we will cover all these lectures using the power of visualization. Hope you will love our new way of teaching and the creative way of teaching. And apart from this lecture series, we also have a quiz and the PDF of the concept and formula list. Check the link in the description. And especially in this lecture, we will cover the core concept, the definition, the theory part, the formula part, everything related to this chapter. So without taking any further time, let's start the lecture. Best of luck and here is the lecture. In the previous lecture, we have studied about the trigonometry, the trigonometric sides and the trigonometric ratios. Trigonometry, the measurement of the triangles, the measurement of angles and the measurement of sides. And in the previous lecture, we have studied the trigonometry about the right angle triangle. We have studied about the various trigonometric sides, hypotenuse, perpendicular and base. And we have studied all these trigonometric ratios. And especially in this lecture, we will study about the practical application of the trigonometry. Mostly you study the theory of the concept or the topic in the mathematics. But rarely you got the opportunity to study about the practical application of that topic. Now in this chapter you will study about the practical application of the trigonometry. This is very good opportunity and you will love it. Just pay the attention once you got this topic it will be really interesting and I assure you it will be your one of the favorite topic in the mathematics. A doubt may be coming in your mind why such a huge topic just to study about a right angle triangle. The answer is that because our world is full of right angle triangle you will easily able to identify the imaginary right angle triangle around us. If you are able to solve all these imaginary right angle triangle, you can solve many practical problems. For example, if we see a plane flying in the sky, we can form an imaginary right angle triangle through our vision. If we are able to solve this right angle triangle, obviously through the trigonometry, the various trigonometric sides and the angle, we can locate various data related to that aeroplane. For example, the height of that plane, the elevation of that plane, the distance, the velocity, the other physics component. So the basis for that study is the trigonometry. Because in the trigonometry, we will study all about this right angle triangle, the various side, the various component, angle, etc. of the right angle triangle. Second example, if you see a tree and the shadow, we can form an imaginary right angle triangle. And if we are able to solve this right angle triangle, we can calculate the height of this tree without climbing that tree. Got it? Some of the practical applications. If you are standing in front of a mountain and you can again form an imaginary right angle triangle. And if we are able to solve this right angle triangle, we can find the height of that mountain. The height of the famous peaks are calculated using the same method. That is the trigonometry. And if you observe in your home, you can also find many imaginary triangle. For example, a ladder on the wall, it will form a right angle triangle. So this is also the example of the trigonometry. Once you got the right angle triangle, you can easily apply the trigonometry as we discussed in the previous chapter. Got it? So this is the basic understanding of the application of the trigonometry. Just to give you the glimpse, what is coming ahead? What type of questions you have to solve? Just the basic picture. Let's move further and let's understand the basic terms related to this concept. The concept name is height and distance, height and the distance. Let's understand some of the basic terms with various examples so that your understanding about the topic can be further enhanced. The first term is the line of sight. To understand this term, let's take a building and one person is standing in front of that building and that person is looking at the top of the building. The line of the sight is the vision of that person. So the imaginary line that is forming through his vision is the line of sight. To understand this concept, you can take an example that that person is having a laser in his eyes. So that person is emitting laser from his eyes to the top of the building. Wherever that person is seeing, the laser is also moving in that direction. So that laser beam is the line of sight. The imaginary vision line is the line of sight. Got it? And if we make an angle from that line of sight with respect to the horizontal line, then that angle will be called the angle of elevation. Angle of elevation when you are looking upward. Got it? We have taken the horizontal line. Do not be confused with the vertical line. This is the angle, not this. 
during taking down the question as per the different scenarios sometimes this angle is given so student generally confused this is not the angle of elevation this is the angle of elevation when we are looking upward the angle formed is the angle of elevation when we are looking downward the angle is angle of depression that we will do the next topic okay angle of elevation when we are looking upward so you got the term line of sight and the angle of elevation to further understand this angle of elevation let's take two to three different cases in the same scenario for example the person is seeing a plane flying in the sky so this is the line of sight and this is the angle of elevation for example this angle is 60 degree so our angle of elevation in case of the plane is 60 degree further a kite is also flying in the sky that person shift his vision from the plane to the kite now our angle of elevation has been changed this angle is 45 degree so we will say the angle of elevation in case of kite the object kite is 45 degree got it further next to that person a building is also there this is the building now that person shift his vision to the top of the building now again the angle of elevation has been changed and this angle is 30 degree so we can say our new angle of elevation with respect to the building the top of the building is 30 degree so this is the angle of elevation and it changes as the object change firstly the object is the plane second the object is the kite and lastly the object is the top of the building got it so this is the concept let's move to next term that is angle of depression to understand this let's again take a building but now the person is standing on any of the one floor of that building and that person is looking downward to an object for example here the object is a football this line will be the line of sight the imaginary vision line so this line is a line of sight and the angle formed between the horizontal line and the line of sight is the angle of depression angle of depression when we are looking downward and angle of elevation when we are looking upward these are the two angles angle of elevation and angle of depression again note that the angle of depression is formed with respect to the horizontal line this is the horizontal line not the vertical line so this angle will not be the angle of depression this will be the angle of depression this is a common mistake done by the students further these two angles will be equal to each other the case of transversals you can apply these two are the horizontal line which will be parallel to each other so this will be the transversal so these two angles will be equal to each other just an concept to make the question easier for you now let's see how to approach the various questions we are having four to five different steps that you have to apply in the sequence to solve the question let's see what are these steps the first step and the most important step is the identification of the triangle you have to visualize a right angle triangle in the given figure firstly you have to observe the given question once you observe the given question you have to identify a right angle triangle out of the given scenario this is the first step and one of the most important step take most of your time in this step observe the question in very detail and just draw an imaginary right angle triangle about that scenario this is most important and as we take different questions you will understand that how to take out the different right angle triangle out of the given scenario or out of the given question this is very important and also very very interesting you will love this for example we are having a plane in the sky so this is the imaginary right angle triangle this person is now seeing a kite so now this is the right angle triangle this person is seeing the top of the building so now this is the right angle triangle this person is seeing the football on the ground so this is the right angle triangle got it this is the first step you have to identify the right angle triangle out of the given scenario or the given question the second step the second step is identification of the trigonometric angle why because we cannot directly apply the trigonometric ratio until and unless we do not know the trigonometric angle because the trigonometric angle will govern which are the trigonometric sides so one by one the second step is the identification of the trigonometric angle this is important let's understand why this person is looking downward at the football or the object so this triangle will be formed suppose the angle of depression is given in this case as 30 degree 
so you can take this as 30 degree so this angle will also be 30 degree we can take this angle as a trigonometric angle and apply the trigonometric ratio or apply the trigonometry in this right angle triangle or we can take this angle also as a trigonometric angle and apply the trigonometric ratios the formula of trigonometric ratios in both of this case will be different got it the trigonometric ratio formula if we take this angle will be different and if we apply the trigonometric ratio with respect to this angle it will be different why it is different we have already covered in the previous lecture if you want to refresh the concept check out the link of the lecture in the description okay got it the second step is the identification of the trigonometric angle the third step third step is the identification of the trigonometric sides with respect to this trigonometric angle what are the trigonometric sides the first is the perpendicular which is the side opposite to our trigonometric angle second is the hypotenuse which is the side opposite to 90 degree angle and the third remaining side is the base for this triangle okay the third step is the identification of the trigonometric sides the fourth step is the application of the trigonometric ratios once you got the trigonometric sides you can easily apply the trigonometric ratios these all are the trigonometric ratios and these are the formulas got it so this is the basic understanding of the topic of height and distance in the next lecture we will take down the ncrt example questions and do not skip the ncrt example questions they are really really good the question framer have beautifully designed these questions so do not miss them after that we will do the complete exercise question if you do all these questions that's enough for your exam no need to go for any of the advanced books to solve the questions just try to build the basic building block rest everything will be done automatically okay so students we have done with this lecture hope you have enjoyed our new and creative way of teaching if so like the hit button subscribe to our youtube channel and also share this video with your friend and do not forget to download the pdf of the concept and the formula list and also check the link to the cues in the description so that's it for this video thank you very much for being with creator classes Bye for now, best of luck and have a great day.